What's up, everybody? I want to do a quick five-minute PD as to how to add your students' emails as a contact, make them a group so you can send uh, out documents to them real quick. So what I am going to show you today is one or two things that I think you should try to set up uh, to help use Google Chrome in your classroom. So what you do is you show up here on the Google website, click and sign in. And you could sign yourself into Google. Once you're in, you can see that you have your name up in the top right hand corner. And what you're going to want to do is click on your drive. Make sure it says Middletown Township Board of Education in the corner and you are ready to go. You are in the Middletown Township Board of Education. What you're going to want to do is click on the contacts tab on the top of the user bar. And chances are when you open it up, uh, you're not going to see any contacts that are preloaded in there. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to actually add your entire class into your contacts list and then we're going to add them into a group. Uh, why we're going to do that is when you create an assignment or a document on Google Docs or in your Google Drive and you want to share it with your class, what you want to do is have a quick and easy way to in one typing motion send it to every student in your class. Uh, so what you're going to do is click this little plus sign right here, add to my contacts, and I'm just going to use my two principles that I see. So I'll add Mr. Paulson, and I already have him there. Click add. Uh, and then I'm going to add Mrs. Wilson. She's already there. I'm going to type that in. Click add. Uh, now you can see I have my two principles uh, set up right here in my contacts bar. What's important to remember when you're adding your students' uh, emails into your contact list, uh, you're going to use the username that was provided on the class roster, but just make sure you're adding the at middletownk12.org. Uh, that's going to be really important, otherwise it's not going to find that student's information for you when you go to uh, add them or send out a assignment. Once you have your contacts added, your entire class, so obviously you'll have a lot more, what you're going to want to do is check them off and you're going to want to come up here to groups. You're going to uh, create a new group and you're going to enter your group's name. So I'm going to call uh, Mrs. Wilson, Mr. Paulson's group. Principles and click OK. Those two contacts uh, into a group. You can see the group actually pops up under the My Contacts tab. So then you're going to know you're going to be ready to send it to those two contacts every type, time you type in that group name. Uh, so what you're going to do is head back to Drive and you can either create a new document, create a new form, a spreadsheet, a presentation, anything you really want to share with uh, the kids in your class. Uh, just for the uh, sake of time, I'm going to share something I already have created. So I will click on that document, and as you come to the top, you're going to see the little person with the plus sign, and that's the share button. So I want to share this with them. I'll click on it, and what you can do is you'll see down here, it's going to say invite people to share it with. Now we created that group called principles, so all I'll have to do is type in principles. And if you created a group for your class, you'll only have to type, uh, type in whatever you wanted to create the class, uh, 2013 class name, uh, whatever you chose to call it. So I'll type in principles, and you'll see it pops up right here with two contacts in it. Yours will say however many kids you have in your class. Click on it, and you'll see all their emails pop up. Now, you want them to either be uh, so they can edit uh, the document, whatever it is that you're sending them, uh, and you will click uh, share and save, and it will send... Uh, that document that you're choosing out to them. So now that you have learned how to add your students' emails into your contacts and then group all of those emails into a group and then learned how to share that uh, whatever folder or file that you have with your students, uh, what you would want the, to remind them is that when they log into their drive, they're going to simply click on the Shared With Me tab here on the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, and you will, they will see any document that has been shared with them, either from you uh, or from another teacher. Uh, what you're going to do is click on whatever document they have, and then simply click on Add to My Drive right here, and they will then have the ability to uh, write a response and then resend it to you or um, use whatever reference it is that you sent them as part of a project.